Hi YouTubers, hi all of y'all. Gil, again, I'm Gil. This is uh, January 4th, 2019. So it's like 30 years since 1989. And a lot of the videos that I've been uploading lately, I mean, they're, they're, they are from 1988 a lot of them were from 1988 and 89 and just including the recent one that I uploaded and so to show you that these are the original cassettes from that time now this is the tape no it's, it's this one that I've been playing a lot lately you know because I uploaded Christmas of 88 and and then New Year's, while well, the last video I uploaded of my vlog about the story of the Charger. This is a tape that has all the stuff on it. And so, uh, anyway, I'm going to still continue to be uploading more of these. But, you know, I still have more to upload. So, I'm thinking. So, I have a clip that I'm getting ready to upload. You know, like the story about the charger where, where I didn't have the camcorder for like five months because of not being able to charge the battery. But I managed to get a little bit of clips like through those five months that I was waiting while I was waiting for the camcorder, the charger to come in. <coughs> so, I want to upload and I found that I have a approximately 25 minutes worth of footage from from um, February 1989 until the beginning of June of 1989 and on June 3rd that's when I finally got the charger and got the camcorder going finally but before that happened though sadly because of me trying to power that camcorder every way that I can. See, I, I, I found this um, uh, household um, like adapter that we use to charge a little, little small 12 volt, 10 volt, whatever devices. And, you know, it was like one of these portable um, uh, universal uh, adapters type things, you know, like that we could power small electronics with and I was, I was trying to use one of those to to power this camcorder and I was plugging it in through this hole here this a little wire this um, connector because this is for a car cord with which I didn't have at the time and I didn't even have any thoughts about buying one back in my 19 year old life in 1989 I mean there's no way how am I gonna know where to get it you know <laughs> well anyway anyway so while I was waiting to get the charger so I could charge these batteries back in that time I managed to you know like Use, well, I was using the house charger, like a, a normal cell battery, like D's that charges D's and C's and A batteries. I was trying to use one of those to charge this battery with, but it would only give me a few minutes at a time, you know. But it was getting harder and harder to make it work, so. Then I it was reaching the point where, where I kind of gave up after a while because it, like, it just wasn't working good, you know, like, so, I mean, I was getting less and less minutes out of the, out of the battery as the time progressed, you know. And so, going on towards the end of April, I would say, I mean, that's when I tried to power it, power this camcorder using that uh, little uh, universal uh, adapter, but apparently that adapter doesn't have enough amperage or power it's not it's not good enough to power to give the juice on this camcorder so i mean i just know that i tried to plug it in and make it powered and then it was acting kind of badly but sadly i didn't realize that that must have ruined the camcorder by doing that you know by doing that and so when i went like going on to may 
That's when when I would turn on the camcorder, it just blinked. The light would blink real quick and then it would turn off and so there was no power. And so the day that I got the charger on June 3rd, or it was not June 3rd, I got it like somewhere around the end of May. I got the charger finally. And then when I plugged it in, only to realize that I ruined the camcorder by trying to power it with this. I ruined it, messed it up. And that got me so bummed out after I found out that it was gonna cost me even more money to get the camera going, you know? After just spending $140 to buy the charger and to realize what I did to the camcorder before, shit. So, I had to right away find a place to, um, to, I had to find a, a place to get my camcorder fixed again. So, I looked around and I knew I couldn't go back to the RCA dealer because it was closed down. And, and I figured that I wanted to go find a place where they could charge you a little less for labor. So, I found this place down the street, like of where I lived in the Covina house or West Covina condominium. This place was charging $98, I think, for labor. So, I took it to them. The first place charged me $150 for labor the first time I had to take my camcorder to get fixed after I loaned it out to somebody back in October of 88, you know. I haven't even told you that story, but anyway. So I had it, so I had to urgently take the camcorder to get it fixed. This one to get fixed. This is not the same one, but anyway. <clears throat> I had to take it to get it fixed urgently I had to hurry and get it fixed because I, I was gonna need this camcorder really quick for the school because the school was ending you know and I, I have to have this camcorder so I could record my ending of the school year you know so I had to do it right away and then luckily I had money lying around because I was working at McDonald's and I had money saved up so I took it and fixed it and then they found the problem and it was this part on the camcorder that they called uh, the power regulator that was bad that I guess I ruined and it's like a little it's kind of like a diode type thing it's like a transistor type thing that, um, that's, that they replaced and they charged me like $70 for that little part and I think it was just full of shit you know it was, just, it was probably like a few bucks for that part but they charged me 74 so the bill was $175 to get this camera fixed from the thing that I did to a dumbass me <laughs> shit. so well anyway I got it fixed and then I picked it up on June 3rd on June 3rd of 1989 and that's when I made the, that's when I f was finally able to use the camcorder again after five months. And I was so happy, tell you. So, and then this is the tape that has all the stuff related to my stories, you know. So, for me, so now I would wonder, what should I do about the, the clips from February through uh, uh, June 3rd, what should I do? Should I separate the months or should I just put it all together? What do you guys think? What do you guys want? I mean, it's 26 minutes for everything, you know, I mean, it's only, I only got 26 minutes worth of footage from February till the May 3rd, you know, like only 26 minutes worth, I mean, through those entire months, you know, but because, you know, during the times when I was able to use my camcorder in, those, in the 80s, 88 and 89, I typically used one tape every two weeks. I mean, I would say that's how much I used to record. I, I recorded on the average of like maybe um, one tape every two weeks. Or it's like, I mean, put it this way. I, 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 I finished, um, I actually recorded like nine or ten tapes for the remainder of 1989, two hours each. But it was more like, because I was kind of cramming more hours into some of those tapes, but it's probably more like maybe, um, say about 
24 hours maybe worth of footage for the remainder of uh, of um to 1989 you know from June until the end of the year and that covered I, I did that um I did that in about maybe 10 or 11 takes or something like that well but the thing is with some of these takes since I didn't like the idea that this camcorder recorded only in the SP mode, I didn't like that because it eats up so much tape space, you know. And then with me recording a lot, I wanted to be able to cram as much as I can in one tape. But for these tapes to take to only last two hours, you know, I mean, it would create a lot of tapes. And I, I didn't really like that because I record a lot and so... I mean, it's like I didn't want to have a massive closet filled with cassettes that are only two hours each, you know, like I want to minimize the size of the collection there, you know, so I tried to save space by going ahead and connecting this to the VCR, to a VCR that can record in the EP mode, the slow mode or the slow speed mode, and so that's what I was doing. I was doing that, and these four cassettes... Well, these four right here are all recorded in the six hour mode and I did that to save space. So, I mean, if I, if I was going to do all original, if I was going to keep the SP mode that the camcorder can only record in, then I would have had, um, I would have had about 12 cassettes instead of four. But the thing about that though, if I would have kept it at the SP mode, I would have had better quality videos. I mean, sadly, but, I mean, it's what I got. I mean, this is what I got, and it's good enough. So, anyway. So, what, what, do, you think of, what do you think of my story? What do you think I should do? Should I, uh, what do you guys like better? For, should I keep the videos as short as possible, or does it matter? I mean, for this video that I'm about to upload, I'm thinking that I'm going to upload, like, I call it the, all of the clips for uh, February, March, April, and May. Well, I don't have anything on May because the camcorder broke. I mean, the camcorder was not working at all during the month of May. So I don't have anything of May of 1989, unfortunately. But, I mean, I had, like, should I upload um, February, March, April, and May? That's about 25 minutes total all at once or should I do month to month on the average of like maybe five minutes each five to ten minutes each what do you guys like better what well, you guys like shorter videos better or you guys like the, the lengths that I usually do like between 15 and 20 minutes I try to keep them at under 30 minutes but I mean I try to keep my footage or my videos less than 20 minutes including vlogs I try to, but it's kind of hard, you know. It's kind of hard because I have I have a lot to share, you know. So, well, anyway, I mean, and another and one other thing, I'm, I'm gonna. I had one of you guys. It was Stephen Reyes who gave me an idea. Stephen Reyes, the YouTuber, 1980s brawl, is his name on YouTube. He gave me an idea about what video to post next. And that is uh, a vlog. <clears throat> my that that I mean, how do I compare my age? Like, how do I compare for how I feel health-wise? At when I was 18 years old in 1989 versus 48 in 2019. It's like, well, how do I? How different do I feel? And I could say mentally and physically. Like, how do I feel? I'm gonna. Go plan on making a video on that next. So, I mean, okay, so I hope you liked this one here. My story about the, the video and the, everything about my camcorder and the situation and everything. So, I hope you liked this video. All right. All right.